Hey guys, this is Charles Jager with Metal. In this quick tutorial, we're going to take a look at the Eshire Drill Stay effect that's a part of Mantra VR. Alright, now we're inside of After Effects and have some 360 footage of Venice here. So I'm going to select my footage and come over to Effect, Metal, and then Mantra VR, Eshire Drill Stay effect. When I apply it to my footage, you're going to see this kind of twisting, infinite loop effect happening on our footage. And this is pretty cool because this is seamless and it keeps repeating here kind of on an infinite loop. I'll just quickly kind of show you the zoom loop so you can kind of see what's happening. So this is a really cool effect. Like we're kind of infinitely zooming in on our 360 footage and we have this twist added to it to kind of add another element to that footage. Now the first option I actually want to show you is the interpolate option down here at the bottom of the effect. And this interpolates between our original footage and this effect. So this is a really cool option that you can keyframe if you don't want to have the effect applied the entire time at full strength. So we can keyframe this down as you can see, it's going to blend right back into our original shot. So that's a really nice option that we have there, and then it is keyframeable. All right, so up at the very top, we have the frame layout, of course. We have monoscopic or stereoscopic footage we can work with. Next, we have the actual point of interest of where the effect is originating from. So we can obviously keyframe this around our shot to add some really trippy effects to our 360 video where we want the zoom in to be. And so wherever this is, the exact opposite point of that would be this other pole over here. So that's going to be kind of where the footage is going to so I'm gonna keep this fairly centered for the time being. The next setting we have is the zoom factor. So I'm gonna go ahead and increase this so you can kind of see what this does. And you can see it's kind of like we're pulling back our field of view on our 360 footage as I increase that. And if I bring it down, we're getting a little bit closer. So you can see it's just a nice way you can adjust the field of view for the overall shot. You can see I get a really unique look at this perspective right here. And then the next option we have is the zoom cutoff. So you can see as I adjust this, where we want the zoom to actually cut off from. And you can see how that goes through our footage. So now I'm going to go ahead and adjust the zoom loop again, as we saw earlier. So there's just kind of like an infinite loop occurring on our 360 footage. And by tweaking the zoom factor and the zoom cutoff values, we can get some really cool looking results. So you could obviously keyframe this or apply expressions to this, anything you really wanted to. Next, we have the option to turn on and off the actual twist effect. So if I go ahead and turn this off, you can see we just have a circle, and now we're kind of infinitely zooming through a circle. And so that's a pretty interesting perspective as well. And again, the zoom factor and everything else can be adjusted. You can actually kind of see what's happening with the zoom factor and the zoom cutoff a little bit better when we don't have the twist value on. So that looks really cool. Next, we have the feather. So you can see actually the feather that's occurring around the edges of the effect. And I can go ahead and increase that or decrease it to make it a hard edge. And you can see you get some pretty cool looks with it increased all the way. So it makes it much more difficult to kind of see where each one ends and begins. So you create some kind of cool sequences with your zooms using that. And we have the interpolate option again at the end. So we can go ahead and kind of keyframe this to interpolate between two and get some nice results using that. I went ahead and opened up a Skybox Composer uh, POV perspective here. So now we're actually inside of that 360 shot. And you can kind of see what it looks like to look around with the twist effect applied to our footage. And that it is in fact seamless. And so you can make some really cool and interesting results with this effect and probably going to make yourself dizzy. Alright guys, hopefully you enjoyed this overview of the Eshire Drosty effect that's a part of Mantra VR. This has been Charles Jager with Metal. Thanks for watching.